Hey nerds and nerdettes, it's Rick here and I am finally back with a review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Tamashi Nation's Suicide Squad Harley Quinn action figure. Um, sorry that it's taken so long for me to get any of my reviews out. I've actually been interviewing for a new job, a new high paying job, uh, and I got it. So, yay, uh, which means that there will be more figures coming. <laughs> more money coming in means more toys. So, uh, things have changed dramatically, you know, drastically for uh, my family. Uh, you know, knock on wood and thank whatever higher power you believe in. Uh, and I'm, I'm just very grateful to have the opportunity. And uh, like I said, more toys coming in equals more reviews. So, uh, that's... Where I've been, obviously, for the past week, but enough with that. You guys are here for the toys. Let's take a look at this uh, figure. Now, before I take a look at the figure, let's take a look at the packaging here. Uh, pretty small packaging. Uh, you know, you don't need a lot of space here with these figures. They're only roughly on the smaller side of six-inch scale. But you do have SH Figure Arts here, Harley Quinn, Bandai, Tomasi Nations, Tomashi Nations. Uh, you got a backdrop here with uh, Daddy's Little Monster from her shirt. Uh, cool picture of the figure. Suicide Squad up here at the top. Harley Quinn again up here. Got another picture on the side here. And then some other pictures on the back with uh, Japanese writing. But There we go. Okay. Now, this figure is really good, you guys. Uh, I do have a few issues with it, um, but I will get to those in a moment. Uh, let's cover articulation first. Okay, she does have a ball-jointed head. Does feel... It's hard to see. Yeah, she does have a ball-jointed neck as well, but because of the collar, it kind of gets in the way. Uh, we do have the outward-moving butterfly-type shoulders. You've got double elbows with a... Nope, no swivel inside there. Uh, you do have a ball joint here on the wrist. Does have an upper... That just popped out. Good thing about these. Pops right back in. Do have a ball joint here on the um, ab under breast area. There is a ball joint here in underneath the shirt, so kind of around the waist area. You got ball joint here at the hips. Again, double hinge here on the knee. And then you've got a ball joint here at the ankle. Now, sculpting on this thing is fantastic. I mean... Uh, when I first saw the prototypes of it, I wasn't super impressed. It, you know, kind of looked like Margot Robbie, and and there weren't, there just didn't seem like there was a lot of details in the actual suit. Um, but I was wrong. I mean, Tamashi Nations is a company that they are constantly working from prototype to actual production. Um, so you don't really have to, you know. I see people all the time saying, "Oh, that looks like crap." A lot of people think that the upcoming. Um, Heath Ledger Joker that they're putting out is going to be crappy. But I'm telling you, you guys, when it's finally in our hands, it's going to be an amazing figure. Um, sculpting's great on this. Paint's good on it. I've got a, a little bit of an issue here uh, on the face. You can kind of see where the mouth uh, is a little misaligned. It's not anything that's, like, completely distracting. I, if I, Again, it's just I'm taking a look at it, so... It's going to be something that I notice, but if I was just looking at it at a glance, I, it's not something that would completely distract me. Um, but, you know, looking at it through critical eyes, it's going to be something that bothers, you know, that would bother me a little bit. But because I can overlook these kind of things, no worries. Oh, you know what? I forgot to also, there's uh, the ponytails are on a ball joint, so they do move out and up and around and all that. But... Um, yeah, nice clean paint applications. Uh, no real issues whatsoever on the figure, um, you know, paint application wise, other than the mouth. I mean, even the the netting here on the uh, the legs looks great, and I like how the tattoos are kind of faded, so it looks like they're underneath the pantyhose. Nicely well, nicely done. Um, <laughs> here's a detail that uh, you know a lot of people are pointing out, but I mean, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> They, they gave her uh, an ample backside. Very, she, she does her squats. But just lots of nice details. Studs in the belt. 
again, the netting here, it's got a nice little bit of a wash over it. So it's a different color than the skin, as you can see. So it looks like it's actual pantyhose. Um, did I have to say it like that too? Pantyhose. Um, nice details, the embroidered uh, parts and the zippers here on the coat, the studs of the gun belt, which the gun holster does work. You can put the gun in there. Um, now the problem I have with it, other than this, the, the mouth part, is she's missing a lot of details, you guys. A lot of details. And how this slipped by, I'll never know, or if it, if it was a choice to keep the pricing down, uh, you know, within the company. But she's missing a lot of details. She doesn't have the rotten tattoo on her cheek. So she has rotten going down the side of her mouth, or her, her uh, chin there. She doesn't have the... Uh, lucky you tattoo right here uh, down by the belly button. She doesn't have the um, I see you with the eye tattoos here on the back. And, you know, some people might like that. You know, some people might appreciate that she doesn't have all those tattoos. It kind of makes it more of a comic booky Harley Quinn. But, you know, for someone like myself who is a stickler uh, for the details, and especially since there's little details like the love and hate on her gun, you, you're telling me that you couldn't put the tattoos on the... Uh, you know, on, on her, her face and her, her belly, you know, just, just one little thing that, uh, irritates me, but you know, is what it is. If it really bothers me that much, I believe the math X has that. And I can just, though, though, honestly, this thing is so well done and it looks just like Margot Robbie, especially with their scanning technology that I don't know how you could, you know, do better than this. I mean, it's very well done. Maybe the Mezco, the upcoming Mezco version will, uh, end up replacing it but who knows as it stands right now this is the best version today but okay let's cover her accessories here she does come with her gun which again has the uh, love and the hate on either side of them well, nice details very well painted she has her bat with the good night on it now there is uh writing in the movie but you know that i think would be a little arduous for them to uh have to paint you know, every single little detail on the bat. So it might not be uh, something they could have done, but still not excusing the tattoos. She also comes with two separate heads. She has a smirking head, which I think might look a bit more like Margot Robbie than the uh, wide smile head. And then she's just got a regular uh, plain face. She also comes with alternate hands. She's got... Uh, trigger finger for her right hand. She's got two bat holding hands, left and right. She's got two splayed hands, and then one just kind of a relaxed hand. But overall, this is a really well done figure, you guys. I would highly recommend picking this up. Uh, you know, regardless of how you felt about the movie, uh, this is one of the best female figures that. Uh, Sage Figure Arts has ever done. Uh, I, I'm really hoping that they dip back into uh, Batman v Superman. That is the rumor that I'm hearing that they're going to be doing that. Uh, so hopefully we get a Wonder Woman. And hopefully they expand the Suicide Squad line. I would love for a uh, Killer Croc or, you know, anybody other than Joker, Harley, and Deadshot. You know, come on. Let's let's spread it out. You know, let's, let's get some of the other characters in the line. But all right, you guys. There was a quick look at the Harley Quinn from SH Figure Arts by Tamashi Nations. I would highly recommend it, and uh, be on the lookout, you guys. I've got some other reviews coming up this week. Finally, uh, we're going to be taking a look at a lot of 112 stuff. So a bunch of stuff is coming out right now. We're going to take a look at the regular red suit Daredevil, uh, the Green Arrow, and also the Punisher. So be on the lookout for those, and we will talk to you later. As always, if you like what you see here, please subscribe.